Now, more than ever, it is imperative that we consider our company's environmental impacts and reinforce our commitment to respecting and conserving natural resources. We're trying to build smartly and in a way that sort of captures best practices and a means to reduce that energy consumption. Uh, energy efficiency has absolutely been proven today to be good for business. Energy efficiency is not only good for business, it's good for people, it's good for the world. Reed Smith is a global law firm with offices in many countries, providing services to many of the large companies in the world. We incorporated the process at, at the beginning of the construction planning effort. We had a great brainstorming session. We talked through what we thought we could do, what the impediments to our process would be, and we figured we'd be able to achieve some really good things in our space. The so Cushman & Wakefield is one of the largest uh, global real estate firms. We handle all types of real estate services for our clients, from leasing and management and sales and valuations, uh, along with other services. So we've used it for our space, and it's been a great a success for us. But we wanted to see how we could use it now with our clients as we go forward. We own the Empire State Building, which is uh, where we are right now, on the 73rd floor. The whole idea behind the process is that it is integrated into design and construction, because we have the data to show that the tenants who pay for their power get a payback in three to five years, and actually get internal rates of return of 20 to 30 percent on the additional investment they make, integrating energy efficiency measures into their fit-ups. As you start to narrow down the number of properties you look at, how efficient those buildings are, how sustainable those properties are, uh, is very important to our corporate clients from an image standpoint and from a long-term operating cost standpoint. To me, uh, what we actually want to do is to communicate the message, this is about investment and return. Having the ability to dig down and actually look at the ROI, and you saw what the final savings was going to be, it had a major impact for us. This really gave us an opportunity to think of things in a much more detailed way and sit at the table with engineers whose sole goals are to deliver a product that has a return in all these different ways. The process gets actually much easier. You know what questions to ask, you know what things to look for, and you know what things really, frankly, even though you might strive for them, are not worth the investment. Not only are we saving money, not only are we having a lesser impact, but by the way, with correct lighting, you're going to have fewer headaches. With correct HVAC, the air quality is cleaner. With plug loads, you're not wasting power, which you don't use, which you don't need. Something that my grandmother, Esty Lauder, used to say all the time is that we're only as sound and solid a company as the health of the environment we work in. The workplaces that they're creating are the workplaces of the future. They're highly efficient, highly sustainable. I think it is very good for business to, to be able to say that you're energy efficient because everybody at bottom wants to be a good participant in the community and, and contribute. There's an easy way for us to have a lesser impact and at the same time create higher profitability and greater competitiveness for what we do. Oh, I think it can impact a city, a portfolio of properties, a neighborhood, or ultimately the country.